Hi guys, it's me again. Someone had another question about um, should I consume table salt or sea salt? Let's just kind of cover that, the basics of it. Table salt only has two minerals, sodium chloride. That's it. Sea salt has at least 84 minerals, maybe more. Okay, so there's a lot more minerals which give you a lot of other benefits. Um, you could get uh, high blood pressure from table salt, but not from sea salt. Interesting. Sea salt has 85% sodium chloride and 15% trace minerals like selenium, iodine, boron, molybdenum, all those minerals which are really important in nerve conduction, muscle contraction, and even just building proteins in general. Um, now it is true because they're uh, salt, um, it doesn't absorb as much as plant-based trace minerals, but you still get some absorption. It's definitely better than table salt. In fact, I don't consume table salt at all. It also will help your pH. It's antibacterial. It helps mucus and uh, muscle cramps, especially as you're transitioning uh, through this ketogenic diet if you're doing that. I highly recommend some of it. Put it in your food. So then people want to know, should I do the Celtic sea salt or the Himalayan sea salt. They're both uh, very similar, but the Himalayan has more benefits uh, for your bone, for your immune system. So if you have a choice, go for the Himalayan sea salt. All right, one last thing about table salt. Uh, they heat it 1200 degrees Fahrenheit to process it and crystallize it. They have to put additives, anti-caking agents. So stick with sea salt and you're going to be fine. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press this little button down below, okay? Thanks.